ladies welcome to day six of vlogmas so i have a very interesting and educational video for y'all today it was on my heart had a dream about it so i'm gonna go ahead and do it today um i'm going back on the infertility side trying to help you ladies get pregnant and also help you with your diet and what to eat in order to conceive excuse my face i'm actually doing my skincare routine that i used to do before i got pregnant because when i got pregnant i noticed breakouts and skin discoloration but call me crazy but i can already see a difference in my skin just from my routine last night so um i guess the uh, coconut oil and vitamin oil that i put on last night really did help and i just did a mild wash this morning added some more coconut oil and vitamin oil and i can really see like because before my skin you can see like in my pores almost but my skin is just getting there I, think, I don't think this i don't think i'm gonna have to do this journey long so so okay so let me tell y'all what's gonna happen today i'm getting ready to go to Publix. um i need to do this for myself because i feel like i need to cleanse now that i'm pregnant so i'm getting ready to try to revert back to my vegan a little bit just to clean my system out and give my body the nutrients that it's need not only for me but for baby so the foods and the fruits that i'm getting ready to pick up will definitely be the fruits and vegetables that you will need in order to conceive these are the things that i use every day and there's one specific um not dish, but juice that I'm getting ready to make. I always used to talk about my alkaline juice. It tastes like regular juice that you buy from the store. Um, and you could purchase agave, but I'm going to show you all of that when we get to Publix. Get your grocery list together. As I go through the items, I'll explain um, what they're good for and how they are alkaline. And basically give you an alkaline list of the fruits that you need. Every fruits and vegetables that I'll be picking up today is very high in alkaline, which is what your body needs in order to feed and heal your reproductive system, PCOS, endometriosis, block tubes, I don't care what your issue is, the foods that I'm getting ready to pick up will help you be able to conceive your baby. So stick around, let's go shopping. Large ones, so I'm just gonna grab a couple of those. You definitely want to get one pineapple. Pineapples are very high in alkaline. I actually use this for my juice as well, and also it helps with implantation. Um, if you have an issue with recurring miscarriages and early miscarriages, eating pineapples or um, the pineapple core really helps with um, implanting. Another fruit is the mangoes, which is very high in alkaline. Every fruit that I'm going to show you is very high in alkaline. So how you pick your mangoes is you want to get. Since I'm going to make my fruit juice um, today, I really want mangoes that are um, almost ripe. So you sit and you finally squeeze it, the softer it is lets you know how ripe the mango is. If you found one that's hard, you probably just want to let it sit in your house for a while before you use it. So I'm gonna find one that's almost ripe to be able to put into the fruit juice. And these are all pretty firm. Okay, this one's this one's soft. See, I'm able to put a dent in it. So that's how you know it's really soft. So I'm gonna grab just about two of these. So I'm not going to get any bananas, but these are the bananas that are high in alkaline that you should be eating. I have the larger bananas. Um, I have bananas at home, so I'm not going to be picking any up. But these are the bananas that you should be eating that are high in alkaline and also that you're putting in your fruit juice. There's a squash that I was mentioning. You can buy them in the pack or you can actually buy them separately. I usually buy them separately. Here's a zucchini in the pack or you can just purchase them separately. These are also high in alkaline. And for those block tubes, you can also put ginger in your juices. Um, just scrape the ginger and put it in your juices. If you know, ginger helps unblock tubes. 
um, and eat unwanted enzymes. So it will definitely dissolve your scar tissue that are blocking your tube. So you definitely want to have ginger on your grocery list when you go to shop for your alkaline list. Asparagus is another vegetable that are very high in alkaline. Going on to the strawberries. All berries are very high alkaline. I eat these just for a snack and I also put these in my fruit juice. So any berries, strawberries, uh, blueberries, and raspberries are all the berries that I put in my fruit juice. Watermelon and day, keep the doctors away. This has every nutritional value that you need to be able to conceive. Make sure you eat seeded watermelon. You should not be eating watermelons that does not have seeds in it. All right, so now I'm just trying to find the sweetener for the um, fruit juice. I usually put agave in it, and I think I have found the raw agave. Okay. So it, you may have trouble finding the agave, but always come to the aisle where all the sweeteners are. Do not go with the syrup, sorry. Agave is not a syrup, it's a sweetener. So I'm gonna pick up the Green Wise Amber Agave Sweetener, and you just put like maybe um, to your taste in here. Some people say it is um, linked to infertility, but I got pregnant, so I'm gonna pick up some agave. Mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. Very high alkaline. <clears throat> I pretty much put mushrooms in anything I eat. I love mushrooms. I can actually just saute them and eat them by themselves. That's how much I love mushrooms. But if you have a hard time eating mushrooms, I suggest make a dish and mix them up in there. You really can't taste, <clears throat> can't really taste mushrooms. So, but mushrooms are also high in alkaline. All right, ladies. So, quick quiz. Which one do you think you should be buying? Should you be buying spinach or kale? All right, back. My melanated women, you should not be eating spinach. The only thing you should be eating is kale. These do not help us as black women. Uh, when we eat spinach, it does nothing for us. Nothing at all. I'm not saying that it's unhealthy, but it does not repair our reproductive system is not high in alkaline you should be eating kale please replace anything you're eating with spinach replace with kale i also put kale in my fruit smoothies i will not be doing that today but well you know what i will put some kale i will buy the kale stay away from the baby spinach i'm a lady ladies okay ladies so another other foods that are high in alkaline all nuts almonds you want to eat almonds you can eat snapping some almonds the almonds that I used to get was the dark chocolate um, covered almonds just to have something sweet in my mouth. But you could definitely eat almonds. Um, sunflower seeds are very high in alkaline. Walnuts, um, pistachios is a big no-no. They're very high in salt. You do not want to eat those. Walnuts are very high in alkaline. So if you need something to snack on throughout the day, please pick up some sunflower seeds. Um, I'm sorry, some um, saltless sunflower seeds. And also you can eat walnuts and almonds lots of almonds i specifically prefer for you to eat almonds another tasty snack that you can be eating is kale chips these are actually really good um i ate these just to put something in my stomach when i got hungry throughout the day especially transferring over or converting over to vegan it was extremely hard for me to not revert back to my old ways so i used to go get pick up kale chips these are the cool ranch they have their very nice flavor and they're actually crunchy so go pick up some kale chips and see how you like them. Okay, so the most important thing that you should be doing while you're on your alkaline journey is drinking spring water. Spring water. You should not be drinking purified water, distilled water, none of that. Everything needs to be spring water. So I'm gonna grab And grab this. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I'm getting ready to make the fruit juice. Um, this is the juice that you be drinking every single day, along with alkaline water. No sodas, no store bought juice. The only thing you should be drinking is water, spring water, and your alkaline juice. Um, you don't have to drink this juice 
you know, two or three times a day. You could actually use this as a meal replacement and just drink it in the morning and then drink your alkaline water throughout the day. And then when you get home for dinner, you can drink this juice along with your meal. The water I'll be using is from Zephyr Hills. Um, I get this water because it's convenient with the nozzle. Um, I have my Ninja uh, food processor and blender. You're gonna need, um, you're gonna need some container of some type to store your juice in. Okay, so since it's just me, gonna be drinking this juice. Um, I doubt if my husband or kids are drinking, although they do like it. I'm just gonna make some for me because I am a little backed up, so I'm going to drink this, try to get my body a reset and cleanse me out a little bit. So I just took a handful of each one. I have one banana, a handful of raspberries, blueberries, kale, um, I love the taste of strawberries, so I mean, I want to put a lot of strawberries in. I'm gonna cut this pineapple up, maybe a quarter of the pineapple. Um, I have my agave, and let's get started. Oh, and I have my strainer. I'll show you what to do with your strainer when once we finish blending and everything and get ready to um, pour the juice into our container. So let's get started. So I cut my pineapple, this is how thick it is. I'm actually just gonna leave the core in and especially if you're trying to conceive, you wanna leave this core because this core contains bromelain, which helps with implantation and giving you a sticky baby. So let's go ahead and put all the ingredients into the blender. Okay, so I have put my mangoes and all the rest of the fruit. Sorry. Messy. Okay, so I put all my mangoes and, well, my mango and the rest of the fruit into the blender. I'm going to fill this cup up with spring water, my Zephyr, um, Zephyr Hills spring water. Put it up to, put it up to about 1,000 milliliters and go ahead and blend it. Okay, 
So lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and put my agave. You don't need um, that much agave, but you can sweeten it to your liking. I'm just going to go off the top of my head of how much I usually do. You can do maybe like two or three tablespoons, um, but I just pour it until I feel like it's enough, but it's totally up to you. You don't want to make it too sweet because um, you're not gonna be able to taste the fruit, so. I'm just gonna taste it to see if it's to my consistency. So, this is okay with me. I'm just going to taste it. It is really good. Mm. That is really good. That's really good. And you can put ice in here to make it a smoothie too. Um, I'm gonna blend it up some more to make it just a little bit more watery to a juice consistent, or you can just add more water, but I don't wanna add more water because I don't wanna water it down. This is, it tastes really good. So I'm just gonna blend it up some more. Okay, so it's finished blending and I think it's okay. Um, hold on. Okay, so it's a little bit more watery. Again, if you think it's too thick, you can always add more water or if you just wanna go ahead and make it into a smoothie, add ice, but I love my juice like this. So you see it has all these particles in here. We're gonna try to get, as, get rid of as much particles as we can. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our strainer, put it over our container off and we're going to pour it to sift out all the extra seeds and everything that's in the juice. I just like to put my spoon around so I can kind of sift through it. And this is what the sifting does. It just gets all those seeds and everything out of there. Of course, we don't want to drink that. We don't want to be swallowing all of these seeds. So this is what it does and just gives it um, more juice than anything. So we can take the seeds out. So I'm gonna put that off into the sink and you repeat. And this is what you keep doing. It takes a little long, but if you like the seeds, you're more than welcome to drink them, but not me. I don't like to drink the seeds. So, just do it this way. You kind of tap on it so it goes a little bit faster.
So this is what's left in here. And I'm just gonna put some ice in here and drink up. Well, I'm gonna put ice in my cup, not in this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour my juice. Ooh. And I usually drink this out of a straw, but I don't have a straw, but I'm gonna taste it. It's good. It's a little thick, but I didn't want to put any more water in it because I don't want to water it down and not be able to taste the fruits. This is really good. This is really good. Drink this every day and your spring water. When you get hungry, snack on some watermelon. I didn't put the watermelon in, but you're more than welcome to put the watermelon in the um, the juice as well. But I don't put it in there because I like to eat on it throughout the day. But today I'm going to try to do full alkaline diet today to flush me out a little bit. So later on today I'll probably just do a salad, light salad or something. But this juice is full of alkaline this is nothing but alkaline in this glass right now everything your body needs to be able to conceive keep going get rid of dairy get rid of meat drink your juice this will fill you up it feels like a whole meal but you can eat something like a small salad drink this juice continue to drink your water throughout the day you'll get your, your tools unblocked pcos whatever Continue to take your herbs, drink your tea in the morning with the fruit. I promise y'all, you'll be able to conceive. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope this was really helpful. If you have any questions about this juice, please leave them in the comment. Please leave it in the comment down below so that I can answer any questions you all may have. Try this juice. Let me know how you like it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all tomorrow on day seven.